has issued a fresh warning tonight that coronavirus will overwhelm the NHS unless everyone starts to practice social, social distancing. distancing. He's urged everyone in the UK to follow official guidance to stay at home. To save lives. Visible killer. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, welcome. This is my Corona, Corona diary video I decided to do. You must. Whole nation has been put on lockdown. Stay at home. Thought I'd document the times doing Going on my daily exercises, I've been cycling every day to different places. What? Seeing how far I can go, maintaining my form of exercise a day. Distance and just, yeah, cycling on my own off to all these places to see. Everyone seems to be uh, taking, Run. taking up cycling or running or some form of exercise just to get out and see the world. Going past the M25, you know, I've never seen a motorway so clear in broad daylight. It's good to see in a way, and yeah, everyone's getting out and having fun together. Not the best of times, there's a lot of sad stuff happening, but... As a whole, I think families are coming together and having. Um, you know, you're learning to cherish each other for what you got, you know. Uh... I bought five litres. It was two pound more for five litres. Yeah, yeah. you're around though. You see these closed-down shops. You know, big COVID-19 signs. Close all shops. Close all shops. It's pretty surreal. It's like a post-apocalyptic world we're living in now, where all the shops are closed. Everyone's wearing face masks in these centered off gridded two meter lines. You know, it's a weird feeling, there's definitely an eerie feeling around everything you do nowadays, everything out in public, you know, it's just like you're wary of everyone and every action you do and you know it's definitely a weird feeling but it's something we're getting used to now, even just like a week and a half in, you know, you're getting used to this idea. I've still been working, luckily from home I've been doing my designer reworks so I've been out doing shipments limiting it to one shipment a week going out posting making sure you know talking to the post office workers making sure they know they're appreciated during this time just letting everyone know that you know if you're being certain at such a time that you've got to give them the respect they need because they don't want to be serving you they are putting their lives at risk so you've got to make sure they know <laughs> we also had the NHS clap to help the NHS Started on the first Tuesday at 8 o'clock, everyone went outside their houses, started clapping, banging pans. Yeah. 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 405,000 people. Everyone's just outside, banging, clapping, you can hear people for... ...have responded to the call. You can hear people from everywhere just, you know, getting involved, showing the NHS workers or all key workers that they are appreciated at this time because you know you might not be able to help yourself but at least us all coming together clapping at least shows them that them working all these hours and doing all this stuff is appreciated taking regular trips to see my gran you know the old elderly generation's been probably taking the biggest hit because you know it's not the virus that's going to kill them it's going to be staying inside doing absolutely nothing all day because, you know their lives are already well most of their lives are already pretty bleak and I've been told you're not allowed to go outside or if you do you'll probably die, it probably isn't a nice factor so I'm taking walks with my family up to up to see my gran, you know, just talk to her for a little bit, make her feel better in this in the times. At the start of the lockdown Boris called for all non-essential shops to be closed. We were sent an email saying that we were going to be furloughed. Two days later got told that we'd still be working. I was set on, you know, staying safe and not working during at least the peak of the uh the virus started working you know skeptical at first i was thinking is this the right thing to do but the garden center itself is quite large so i've been able to keep myself to myself i've been putting stickers on the plant pots i've been out the back sweeping you know doing what i can do to keep myself out of the main focus of the garden center you know there's been a few times where i've been around customers and had to part with you know close contact but i try to limit it as much as possible working in retail possibly tell shows you that there are people who treat you like less of a person possible. During the pandemic I haven't been able to see any of my friends or close family, I think that's been one of the hardest things. We're so used to going out, talking to each other, using that to get past the time, you know, when we're not working. Okay. Me and my girlfriend don't live together, so during the pandemic we've had to isolate in our own houses. 
you don't realise until something like this happens how easy it is for us to travel to each other's, you know, I'd be at hers or she'd be at mine, we're practically living together just at each other's houses and it's, um, we're now able to get used to this way of life where I'll go to her house, you know, she'll come to the window and I'll, I'll be two metres away and we can still talk but it's definitely not the same as it used to be, sleep in the same bed as them, you're always around them, you know, you rely on them in many different ways, so when you're not with them, you know, it's a different it's a different way of life that you have to adjust to, and I'm not, I'd never compare it to anything a lot worse, but for me it's, you know, to get used to this new, new way. Careful steps to modify our measures. We've now entered the last stage of lockdown, phase two. So yeah, Boris went on TV, gave a speech, everyone thought it was quite vague, it was basically Structure. that if you can't work from home, you've got to go to work. Construction or manufacturing. And then everyone else day back from work, it was a bit confusing, but... In Boris's speech, he also announced that you're now allowed to meet one other person who isn't from your household at a two metre distance. Unlimited amounts of outdoor exercise. After hearing this news about the ease of the lockdown, I went to Epsom to go to document what was going on. You know, I wanted to see if there was going to be loads of people now just out and about doing their thing or if people were still going to be respectful. Pleasantly surprised, actually, there was a few people, you know, out talking to each other following this new meet up distance rule you know the town centre is a little bit busier now but I guess people are starting to get used to this new new norm as such of kind of just like going out but keeping distance the parks again a little bit fuller than before but at least now people are maintaining distance everyone's getting used to this new norm makes you think a lot more about what you do and who you touch and before especially I don't really care about germs you, know, you don't even think about it, it's like some invisible thing that just is kind of there and then now it's this deadly invisible killer that's just everywhere. I think it's at this point now where I can end off my documentation. You know, I've got a good, good basis of footage showing from what life was like before the lockdown to what it's like now. Hopefully look to get better from here, but I think the uh, the biggest contrast and the peak of and the spike of what was going on has really happened, so I think about, about time I ended it off and hopefully this video can act as a kind of timestamp of the times you know generations watching this in the future will see and have an idea of what it was like to live during this lockdown period which hopefully we won't have to experience again hopefully I've been able to enlighten you on the goings on of my life during this lockdown and thank you very much for watching